My name is Lord and this is me before the competition. Oh, yeah. uh, how are you feeling? My name is Lord and this is me after the competition. <laughs> My name is Meliza and this is me before the comp. My name is Eliza and we did that and this is me after the comp. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aiden, this is me before the competition and we're gonna hit. My name is Aiden! I told you we were gonna hit! Hi, my name is Kylie and this is me before competition. This is me after the competition. This is Sam, and this is me before the competition. Go. This is me after the competition. Hi, my name is Maureen, this is me for the comp. This is me and after the comp, and my bun is killing me. My name is Eva, this is me before the competition. This is me after the competition. Hi, my name is Kylie, this is me after the competition. Eva, how are you feeling after the competition? <laughs> uh, tired. How are you feeling? I'm 
Yeah. It's it. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, this our first day. <laughs> Honestly, I I really enjoyed our senior night. That was so yeah, much was fun. Really fun. I think that was my favorite game. Oh, I mean, it was one of my yeah. favorite games. Definitely. And it was homecoming, so everyone yeah. was like hyped. Nice. Yeah. I think my favorite part was when we ended the game and we were all taking pictures together. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. It was so cute. The pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, for real, about to cry. No, no, because like, everybody was over there. They were like bringing us stuff, and I was like, wait a minute, I feel special. Like, that, was, that was really fun. Are you recording? Yeah, no, Is the camera on me? Okay. Something that's very evident about cheer that that's not apparent in other sports is that cheer is a year round sport. It We have like a separation too. We have a separation between the sideline and like competition cheerleaders. Like, and it's not like they're two different types of people. It's more so like their seasons are kind of like spread across and once once we finish with competition or like once we finish with even like basketball season we go straight into like conditioning season and then we go through the summer we go through football season competition basketball is like over and over again it's not like you have your season in fall and then the rest of the year you're off like it's a constant thing so that's why i have a lot of respect for cheerleaders because it's like you're constantly working also, too, like, if we just learn something the first day, we're expected to know it again the second day. And I feel like when when it comes to cheer, right, it's not just cheer. Like, you have a full day of school, or, or if it's the summer, we have a full day at our house, and we have other stuff to do, and then you come to cheer, and then you have a, a lot more stuff to do. And it's just a lot of stuff. And I feel like, like Kylie said, it hurts when people say cheer isn't a sport because you don't know how much we go through. Like, it's such a mental thing, and honestly, it's just... Okay, but to clarify, not like, because I understand that a bunch of other athletes experience the same exact thing, like they all go through their own stuff and then they have practice and have to take care of all that, but it's more of just like cheer not being treated as a sport and people don't see it that way, and yeah. So I think that we're like, we're really mindful about like how we carry ourselves, especially not in, um, in cheer because it's a rule like there's a lot of rules that we have to follow as cheerleaders i don't think a lot of people know the things that we have to follow in order to stay on the team but like if we don't represent ourselves in a great way then we can actually be on the team. I don't think a lot of people know that and it's it's so much easier for us to get kicked off than i know a lot of sports because in the dance battle, it was for Vars, it was me, Sayla, Maliza, and Eva. Oh, and boy. that was a, a, that was a journey. And none of us were in the same group, so it's not like yeah. we could, like, yeah. yeah. We and we did, like, they weren't playing music that we could actually, oh, it was like, terrible dance music. battle You can't even dance to the music. The like, song I got, you nah. Yeah, I got no, some nah, Katy Perry. I, I did not know what to do with the Katy Perry, man. Yeah. Nah. I was like... <laughs> and then it was even more embarrassing because... Well, for me, when I was doing my dance, this girl was like tumbling in front of me, so I did a forward roll, and then we ran into each other, and like everyone was like, oh. <laughs> like, I had to try to play it off, and I was like, oh my god, bro, what did she do? I still have the screenshots from your dance, like she was literally like doing, she did this, like she I was like dancing off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and the, sta the stands down. were like packed with so many people. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. yeah, seeing like all of those people in the crowd while doing like the competitions <laughs> yeah. at camp, it just makes the nerves even yeah. worse. More embarrassing. Definitely. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to dance to like Katy Perry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Why? She misses her. She couldn't go, go with them. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Sam, you can speak from the heart. How much has changed since you know you started cheer in high school, the high school level? I think it changed a lot. It definitely, it was way more strict my freshman year. Like, a lot of things did not slide how it is right now. And, like, a lot of the workouts and everything, we don't really work out that much now or like the body workouts and stuff. It was way more hard my freshman year, I think. And like, I don't think a lot of people know that on the team. And uh, yeah, and 
the people on the team is very different. Yeah. Um, so personally for me, because you know when I first moved here, I was so excited to join cheer because I just came from a whole. I came from the mainland and they didn't have a cheer program there, and I've always wanted to do cheer. So when I found about Coach Darcy here coming into high school, I wanted to do it, but COVID happened, so I wasn't able to. And coming from being a military child, you don't have any friends like when you first moved here. So it was kind of like hard. And then when I joined the team, I was so scared because all the girls knew each other and they were all so close with each other and it was just hard for me. And um, coming from when the people, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's cute, like cry. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> and um, when I met the girls last year, they were actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Expected. Like, it's not just a bunch of performing in front of everybody and like, like smiles and all that. Like, you have to work hard, and we run like a mile like every day, and we lift. I feel like it's really tough to be in cheer. Like, you have to be strong, and we worked hard to be at where we are right now. I think cheer has changed my um, outlook on life because, in the sense of like what it does for um, how, how it, uh, people perceive like these athletes, how people perceive like the cheerleaders. Some people ha see us through like a very superficial lens. lens. Um, but even like from my experience being the only like non-girl on the team, it, it makes me really like reevaluate some things I viewed about cheer and like now being in it, I know the amount of strength like you girls go through and like applying all of that to like me it 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 makes me like really have a big respect for you guys like not just not just for the sport but for every individual on this team it's all the way up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> Beauty's crazy, I watch her from the crowd Her voice is so amazing, she make her mama proud I try to send her flowers, but she has no address Her home is in my heart, it's like she never left It's more than a crush, more than life, like more than love Baby, I'll make you mine, and I ain't giving up Wake up! 
one life lesson that Cheers taught me is how to push through. Um, before the field was getting redone, we would run around the track and that was not that great of a time for me because I don't like running. But the coaches would always tell us to push through and push through. And even the girls would tell you, would like support and like encourage us to do the runs. Yeah. Um, I think moving to a different school, the cheer team will be different because every cheer team, like coaches are different and they may have different rules. They may come from a different background and have different experiences. So I think it will be different. See, these, these are the muscles of a cheerleader. You get that pump in. Exactly. It's how we train. It's how we train, guys. Right there. Bye. Oh, God. I'm going to get calluses. I don't want you to go like this away. I just want you to go. I thought. Ah, I'm done training. Push it, Hey, 
Look, it's a water break. Water. We're gonna get some water. We're probably gonna practice the jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock for a, not assembly, the parade. So come on, all, come on along. Personally, I joined cheer because of my auntie and my cousin. My auntie is an alumni from the school and she also cheered for Coach Darcy like a long time ago. <laughs> but she was always an inspiration to me because, I don't know, I just really looked up to her. And my cousin who also graduated recently, she also cheered for Coach Darcy. And I just love cheer in general. Um, during elementary school, we would have these spirit weeks and one of the days was sport day and I dressed up as a Lela Huet cheerleader <laughs> and um would I do, would I do this again yes I'm I want to do this my all throughout high school which I wish I did my freshman year too but since I was cut because of COVID I just really want to end it strong with my senior year I joined cheer because my seventh or sixth and seventh year I already did cheer and it brings it brings me joy. I enjoy cheer. It's very fun. You get to meet new people. And after I leave from the school, I think I will be doing cheer again because it's just a sport that I love and I love how you get to have teammates and support with you. Okay, we we most looked up to Chloe. Yes, I looked up to her mm -hmm. a lot. Like not just cheer wise, but academic wise. Yes. But mainly for cheer, she really like just took initiative. So yes. did Inessa. So I really looked up to that. Yes, I looked up to Chloe a lot because I just think like she had a really good balance. Like she mm -hmm. balanced stuff with cheer, and I love that. Um, I don't know. She was just she had really good leadership, yeah. and I don't know. I love how she led our team. And she taught us really well yeah. for the small amount of time she yeah. had to teach us. She taught us really well, so I looked up to her a lot. Why did I join competition? I joined competition because it's more my style of cheer. Personally, for me, sideline is only enjoyable when you're able to hype up the crowd. And that's the whole point, because like with sideline, you need to find a way for the crowd to get involved because if the crowd's involved then the boys are going to be motivated when it comes to competition you're just doing a performance but you're doing a performance in two minutes and 30 and honestly that, that's good enough for me i think i look up to lord on the true team because he just he's always excited and ready to try new things and he brings so many things to the cheer team like a happy personality and Great school spirit, which you need in cheerleading. Um, when I first moved here, and when I first was getting ready to join cheer, it was very hard. At first, I was like overthinking it because you know, coming from being a military child, I make friends a lot, and within a year or two, I ended up just leaving. So I ended up just keeping my distance because it's really hard, you know. And I feel like when I first moved here, 
I didn't talk to any of the girls because they all like kind of they all kind of knew each other and I felt like I wouldn't be accepted with them because they all were so close but when I talked to them like I think the first person who came to me was Inessa and she asked me you know how was I and she told me she was attorney and then she actually ended up introducing me to some of the other girls and it was it was a really nice feeling because I knew that after that moment you know we all become a team and it was really fun after that. Yeah. I'm actually really devastated. I, I plan to do cheer after high school, but knowing that like this is going to be my last year in like high school cheer, it makes me really sad because the things I've learned, like the skills and like the, the physical and mental emotional skills that I've learned is something that you won't, you won't find anywhere else in school.